Well, we're, oh, there we go. We are working on that. But I've got to... Yeah. yeah. I've got to get this picture working.
that won't be on our YouTube archive, but we do have many of our previous meetings on there, so if you've missed some and you wanted to see the demonstrations, go check out Utah Watercolor Society on YouTube, and it will be there. All right, tonight we are uh, combining meetings with uh, Intermountain Society of Artists, so we want to welcome ISA, thank them for letting us swap dates with them. <laughs> because this is normally their meeting date. Um, we had to reschedule this last year, and uh, so we're glad to have ISA join us, and um, there are refreshments at the back, and I'm hoping that that, like I said, is a combination of our members and theirs. Um, normally, there is a break for an ISA meeting at 8 o'clock. We do not do that, so just feel free to get up and get your treats and refreshments at uh, any time I'm talking. Um, if you do it while Jeannie's presenting, just be uh, inconspicuous about it. So, Okay, so we're coming down to the end of our year. You're almost rid of me. Um, you'll be welcoming in another president soon. But it is time. The membership drive for 2018-2019 has begun. Um, the uh, art sleeper is in the back there. Can you wave art? He is our membership chairperson for 2018-2019. If you want to sign up tonight, go ahead and go back there and help him out. Or help him, he'll help you out. <laughs> um, I think, though, I think at the moment you can only, can you only do check payments tonight? Check. Just checks tonight. So if you want to do a credit card, go to the UWS homepage. And um, there's a link on the homepage on the right-hand side, and you can click on that, and you can pay with the credit card. There will also be more emails coming out soon, more e-blasts to remind you to register. Please register early if you want to make sure that you are in the directory and you want to make sure that you get a directory for the coming year. You need to register early. We have to have a cutoff in the summer so that we can get those directories put together and ready for distribution. And if you're not registered, you're not going to be in the directory. So. Um, and as a reminder, the dues for the coming year are $40, and there are many uh, fun things coming up, starting with our small works show in June. And that is for the 2018-2019 year, so you want to get registered so that you have your membership current in order to enter the small works exhibition. Um, we have just a lot. I just listed some of them here for you. I'm not going to go over all of them. But uh, get signed up. If you have any questions, let me know. Let Art know. We'll help you out through the process. If you have trouble with the online part, we can walk you through that on the phone. Or we can even do it for you on the phone. Um, I have done that to help people out. Art, I'm sure, will do that to help people out. So if you have trouble with that part of it, just give us a call. We will be happy to help you through the technicalities of it. But it's a pretty easy system. You click on it. You put your information in. And then you make your payment. So, we announced a while back that we had 10 of our artists accepted to the Western Federation of Watercolor Society's exhibition that just took place in Arizona. Um, we had four of our artists who won awards. So, that's a 40% award return on our 10, which is awesome. Two of the artists were at the, uh, at the reception to accept their awards, and that was Joyce Barron, who uh, won an award of distinction, and Sue Martin, who won an award of excellence. And then we also had Ian Status with Western Fed uh, as of this year. So Julie's going to make those announcements. So if Brian is here, I have your your certificate. Are you here, Brian? Microphone. Microphone. <laughs> Are you here, Brian? Is that you? Okay, well then let me do your picture. We're going to do a picture. Hang in there. A little posterity. Yeah, Julie, scoot in. Oh, you want Yes, yep, you too. All right. All right, everybody clap again. Yay!
is coming up in June. The entries are due May 15th. So it's all, the next year is already here. Just, uh, just be prepared for it. Um, our small works exhibition this summer is at Red Butte Garden. So as you're doing your small works entry, or if you already have some that are ready to go, they need to fit the theme of the living landscape. Now it's a pretty broad theme. It just means that there, Red Butte's mission is to connect people to the li to living landscapes, to plants and pollinators and things that in, in nature. So um, you can put a person or an animal in your painting or something that's not a living kind of landscape uh, as long as it's not the subject of the painting. And I think it is best hand here. Oh, come on up. She'll give you some more detail. Sorry, I just let you know. So you realize the deadline is like seven days away, and um, we have a lot of space. I, um, we're expecting about 80 paintings at Red Butte. So far we have 20 entered, so um, every person is guaranteed to get one of their paintings in at least, and so um, there is size dimensions at the, the outside edge of the frame. If you multiply the length times the width, has to be less than 144. You all know. The size of the image itself is not specified. There's no minimum on that. So think about entering. If you haven't entered a show, this is a great way to try entering a show because it's a beautiful venue and um, you guarantee to get in. So, thank you. All right. Um, we have our UWS Spring Open Exhibition is opening this Friday. The opening reception and artist awards 6 to 8 p.m. at the Visual <coughs> Arts Institute on Highland Drive. Please come. This exhibition has been juried and judged by our guest artist tonight, Jeannie McGuire, who is also teaching the workshop this week. So we're keeping her busy, 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 busy while she's here. Um, it's a great show. I was, I was at the intake of paintings, and there are a lot of fabulous, fabulous paintings there. So you'll want to be there and see it. And if you can't make it Friday, definitely come check the show out before uh, it gets taken down in there. 
And on the heels of that uh, reminder about the show is um, if, you have, if you got into the show and that has given you a star or a two star member status, you need to contact Roxanne Fitster and let her know so she can uh, get that information on her role. She is our two star signature, star two star signature coordinator and keeping track of it. And after Friday, the awards will have been announced. If you were waiting for an award in order to achieve your signature status, you might know that by Friday. So I just want to remind everyone to check your status, um, and if you're keeping track of your shows and your awards, uh, check out where you're at, and if you are up for two star or one star or signature status, contact Roxanne Fister, let her know, and we will be announcing this year's new UWS signature members at the June meeting. So if you're one of those people, get on it. All right, our fifth annual Arts in the Park Light on the Reef is coming up. Is Mara here? Do you want to come talk about this? We still have uh, at least five spaces left. I know ISA is here tonight. Welcome, ISA. Thank you. So you know what we do down here as the invited artists down to Capitol Reef is we paint, and you have to switch your medium if you're not a watercolor artists or you only do your sketches in watercolor, you have to paint in watercolor. And uh, we paint for three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we have a big event on Saturday where we uh, have an awards uh, show and auction. And we usually sell quite a few paintings. So we still have spaces left. The dates are Tuesday, the 29th is early arrival, uh, and we go through uh, Sunday, which is the 3rd of June. So that is the week after Memorial Day. I have uh, a hotel reservation. If anybody wants to go and you've looked at the hotels down in Torrey and you say, well, I'd love to go, but there's, I can't get a hotel room, uh, get a hold of me and uh, I will turn you on to a hotel reservation. Okay. And uh, here we have another hotel reservation. So we'll probably send that out in a blast, but this is more for the benefit of ISA in case you have anybody that wants to come down to Capitol Reef. Uh, Spike Rez will be the guest artist this year, along with uh, Susan Snow and Pat Preeby. Uh, they always do a good job. We're working on dark skies because Tori got their dark sky certification and we're going to talk about what that means to the park. We've got uh, the high school mentoring the fourth grader element again. Uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you can talk to anybody that's been down there. It's one of the funnest thing we, things we do in the Watercolor Society. So thanks. Yes, it is. <laughs> There's confirmation. So if you're interested in uh, learning more details from the prospectus or registering for that event, go to the utahwatercolor.org website, and it's right there on the home page, and you can click a link for the prospectus, you can click a link to register and get all of that information, or, and or call Mara if you have questions after you've looked that over and you're unsure about anything. All right. As a reminder, we have a monthly FYI e-blast that comes out where you can share your member news and it also has um, calls for entries and other things in there that might be of interest to you. If you have anything you want to share in that e-blast, give that information to Mary Pusey by the 25th of each month. So if you have an exhibition coming up that's not a UWS exhibition or you're teaching a class, let Mary know. She'll put it in the e-blast and send it out to our members. Um, also, our next newsletter will be the July-August newsletter, and if you have any information for that, you need to get that to Mary by June 16th. Mary is out of the country painting. I don't know why she didn't think she should be back for this, but she's in Spain or something. I'm traveling the world. So, um, our illustrated journaling group. Uh, I believe this only meets September to June before our UWS meetings. The group meets downstairs. There is a wheelchair ramp around the outside of this building if you need that um, access. And Bessann Swanson is leading that group. and She's going to get some guest teachers for next year so you'll even have a little more of a mix 
of styles and ideas to come. It's great, it's a smaller group of artists, so if the, the larger group intimidates you a little bit, come to the small group and get to know people until you get more comfortable. It's free. Oh, it's free, yeah. Yeah, it's free. It, you know, I don't think you even have to be a UWS member, but we hope you'll join anyway. Um, but our, our member meetings are always free and open to public, and so is this group. But it is a, it's typically, I think, a watercolor illustrated journaling group, so, but I'm not sure. You can probably do other mediums. Our main paint out is at the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon, Saturday, May 19th at 10 a.m. Um, come to the paint out. After, that's a great place, to, again, a smaller group of artists. It's a great way to get to know a few people. Uh, so it's a, it's a good way to kind of get your toes wet. Um, even if you're not a plein air painter, and I'm not, but I have gone to some of these um, paint outs in the last couple of years, and it is, it is fun. It's good just to get to know people, and then you get to go to lunch with them afterwards and just chillax a little bit. So, um, Nina, there was some information you had about where to meet. Sorry, with your mouth full. <laughs> So it's called Temple Quarry? Yes. Okay, so the Temple Quarry parking lot is a good starting point. And it's, you know, it's always wise to do paint out with a buddy rather than just alone because just in case. It's, I'm all about safety, right? So, um, so, yeah, join up. And if you can't make it to the thing, join up and go to lunch with everybody too. I'm sure they would welcome you to come. All right. So, um, Cash Valley, um, our UWS Cash Valley chapter that meets up in Logan, their, their regular member year has ended, but they have the, a summer exhibition coming up. So uh, that is open to all the UWS members to enter. Um, there have been some e-blasts out already. There will be more coming. There is also a link on our homepage, again, utahwatercolor.org. Um, if you want to go there and you want to read the prospectus and you want to get registered for that, they are taking online registrations through, uh, I think it's, it says June 2nd on the prospectus, but um, June 30th will be the painting drop-off in person if you don't get registered online. It will be at Furman's Framing and Fine Art July 13th through August 3rd, and the reception is on July 13th. Um, Ellen Trickler is in charge of that exhibition, and again, if you click on the links from the homepage or from your e-blast, it will take you to that information. And Kent Baker, are you still here? Come on up. Kent, if you have more information on the exhibition, you can give it, and he will tell you what's coming up for Cash Valley. Well, there's not, not much coming up for Cash Valley, because <laughs> we've closed out our year. So... Do enter into our summer show, and if there's something that comes up during the summer, we'll let you know. Um, we have our opening social in September, so if you're ever so inclined to come up to a beautiful valley in the north, you are invited to come too. That's on the second Tuesday of the month. So, thank you. Great. Thank you. All right. And as we said, we are welcoming ISA to our meeting here, and I think Colette has a couple of, me of announcements for you. I like having a speaker, because nobody can hear me otherwise. Thank you for com coming tonight. It's nice to see you all. It's so many. Wonderful. Okay, uh, back on the food table. Thanks for everybody who brought things. Back on the food table is a little page that looks like this. 
is just to let you know about the winners of our show that we had at the Visual Arts Institute. Um, the winners were, the best of show was Zion's Light by Candace Rideout. The first place was Evening Figure by James Stewart. Uh, second place was High Desert Spring by Millie Calkins. Malid Calkins, sorry. And third place was Winter Serenade by Carol Young. If you're here, please stand up so we can give you all a clapping. Malik Hawkins, who stood up right here, go ahead, stand again. She's going to be our presenter next month at our membership meeting, and she does pastels. So that's going to be really fun. Even if you're doing watercolor, you may want to come to that and see how you work with that medium. Next month, we're going to have a board meeting. I'm announcing a board meeting for my board. It'll be right before the meeting, um, 5.30 or 6. I'll let you know in an email, but I want you to look forward to that. Put it on your calendar so you can make sure you come. We have some things we need to decide. Okay? And I think that might be everything. Um, we are going to have meetings through the summer. I know the Watercolor Society starts stops uh, for the summer break. We've been trying that for a couple of years, having the meetings go through the summer. So keep in mind, we're going to be doing that, okay? So plan on coming uh, next month, and the month after, and the month after, like that, okay? <laughs> All right. Our meeting in June with money. Okay, it will be here in June, and I think it's the 10th? 11th. 11th. Thank you. Okay. The second Tuesday of the month. What did you say? It says June 12th on your website. Oh, well, I'm glad you looked. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, we've had three dates there. Let me tell you for sure. June 12th. Okay, we'll have the pastel. It's on my calendar. I'm going to be here. <laughs> She's going to come. <laughs> that will be good. Okay, so we will look forward to seeing y'all for that. Thank y'all for coming. Okay, and did I miss something, Julie? Was I supposed to announce something okay. about our membership? Is that what you mean? I don't know. I told you if I forgot, you could get up and say it. Uh, are there any other announcements? Okay, Julie has one. So pretty much we have our board put together for the coming year, but we do need someone to help um, take over art sleeper's position for membership. So if there's anybody who is, you know, just a little bit computer savvy and would like to take that over, it's not it's not a bad job. It's it's a lot easier than it used to be, and if you, if you're interested, um, talk to either art sleeper. Where are you, art? He's in the back over there, or 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 myself, so we can um, find an apprentice for him. Okay, thank you. And we will be sending out the list of proposed board members for 2018-2019. You've already voted Julie in last year as your VP slash president elect, so she's the incoming president. But we will vote for her again as the president, and she will present her board to you at the June meeting. So. Um, that information will be coming to you shortly in an e-blast, so you have it, uh, you have the information ahead of time. And if you have any suggestions or you want to volunteer for the board, please contact Julie. Okay, upcoming meetings. We've got Jeannie McGuire tonight, and then in June, uh, as mentioned, will be uh, our closing social and our annual member meeting. And we're going to buy you dinner, so come. Uh, it's Cafe Rio, and then if you will uh, bring a potluck dessert with you, we'll provide the main course and you can provide the treats. Um, we'll be announcing the new board for vote. We'll be finishing up our business for this year, announcing signature members. We will have a slideshow from the Western Federation uh, exhibition. And just lots of fun things, and I think a little more swag to give away too. So uh, come enjoy uh, socializing with your UWS members. This will be our last meeting until September. And now, Julie, you're going to introduce Jeannie. 
actually, or is more of it? We're having a really fun workshop with Jeannie. She has a really unique style. And um, but Mara actually is friends with her. So uh, we thought it would be fun for Mara to introduce Jeannie to you tonight. So hello again. I met Jeannie McGuire a year ago at the Western Federation Watercolor Society's show and the uh, workshop that was held in Eugene, Oregon. And Jeannie was the workshop teacher there, and Christy Grusendorf and I were able to get into that workshop. So we traveled together, we drove to Oregon, and uh, went to the workshop, and met Jeannie. We loved the workshop. It's similar to the one we're doing here in Salt Lake. Really pushes you out of your comfort zone. It's a fantastic workshop. If you have a chance to take it in another city, uh, I encourage you to do so. I didn't really know a lot about Jeannie other than she uh, was Ruth Armitage's first choice to be the juror for Western Fed for when they hosted the show. So the benefits of uh, Western Fed go on and on for our organization to be a member in that uh, you know we, we seem to re re reap the award, rewards every year but we were able to meet Jeannie at this workshop. So there was a week between the workshop and the opening of the show. And so Christy and I were just going to kick around and go out to the coast. And Jeannie McGuire had to hang around too because she had to be there for the show opening. She had some of her paintings there at the museum. They, they hosted it there at the uh, University of Oregon Museum. It was fantastic. Uh, so it just made sense that we all traveled together because we were all from out of town and we just got to be really good friends and so you know workshop instructors are booked two, three, four years in advance and our workshop instructor that we had for this time period had a family emergency and had to cancel and she knew back then so we just happened to have a genie as a captive audience when I received the call from the president of the Watercolor Society that said, is Jeannie really interested in coming to Utah? Because we, had, Christy and I, you know, we're, we're locals, we love it. Uh, we've been talking up Utah, and I said, well, let me ask her, because we had her right there front and center. <laughs> and uh, we negotiated and uh, looked at the dates, and yes, indeed, there was an opening, and that's how we got this really top-notch gold award with medal winning from the American Watercolor Society artist here to Utah to teach this workshop and give this presentation. So ladies and gentlemen, Jeannie McGuire. My friend. Okay, we've got about two minutes of technical switcheroo, so grab yourself a drink if you want and we'll be right back. Do you want a drink? I'll bring you and the camera and stuff. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's here. 